Greetings, adventurers. It is I, Jeb the Boxsmith, and welcome to my workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made the Blades of Chaos from God of War. Following the rousing success of my Ghost Rider Chains video, I got a number of you guys asking me to make the Blades of Chaos from God of War out of cardboard. This is how I did it. I started how I start all of my projects, with an outline sketch. I found the Blades' dimensions online and made a rough outline of how I wanted them to look in Illustrator. Satisfied with this, I eyeballed a sketch of what I made online onto a piece of cardboard. Why didn't I just print the Illustrator drawing and cut it out? Honestly, I was nervous it wouldn't be interesting enough for a YouTube video. That, and I really wanted a nice shot of me drawing on the cardboard. You know, for the aesthetic. But, in hindsight, that would've probably been a better idea. You live and learn. Anyways, I drew the outline and cut it out, immediately realizing that unlike other swords I've made where I glue the sides together to make a flat, tapered edge, the edges of the Blades of Chaos are as thick as the guy who wields them. So I had to think of something else. I decided to take the first layer that I cut out, duplicate it, and stack the layers to get that needed thickness. I was a few years... <laughs> I was a few layers and a sore wrist deep into realizing the carpet I was using was way too thin for this kind of project, and I would be there for hours. So, I had to change my strategy. So in the spirit, I would have found the thickest cardboard I had on me and used that for the meat of the sword and the thinner layers I would already made for the detailing and taper. Everything was running smoothly. Then everything changed when the Neurodiversion Nation attacked. My toxic perfectionism spiked, leading to many redesigns and failed drafts before I finally calmed down and realized I had raised the bar way too high for myself and needed to chill the heck out. Of course, by then nearly a month had passed, but regardless, I had a solid draft and it was time to go on to the finishing touches. I decided to use a standard kunai-esque wrapping that I had done for the scorpion dagger and ghost rider hooks, this time using a thicker strand of cardboard to do so. Once that was done, I drew a hole into the handles and made the chains. With that out of the way, it was time to test them out. I was a little worried that I might be getting soft. And that's about it. Thank you to Marshy1622 for being one of the first people to suggest the Blades of Chaos on TikTok. You too can suggest something for me to make on any social media that you find me on. I also want to say a special thank you to my fans on TikTok for getting me to nearly 60,000 followers in the time of me being away. I cannot stress this enough how much that helps me continue with this project, so thank you again for your continued support. I hope you enjoyed it that your day is lovely. Tune in next time when my consciousness is downloaded to the body of a bloodthirsty gladiatorial robot. Bye bye! Call me Mr. Fixit!